Hi, this is Alex for Production Music Live, and uh, today we're here with uh, Gael Hedding. Gael Hedding? Yes, correct. Uh, in his studios, you find uh, his contacts below if you want to hit him up. We're here in Cancun on our big travel through Latin America, and today we're going to learn a, bit, a little bit about um, parallel compressing. We'll just dive in, and uh, Gael will show us something about it. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, this was a hip hop track that uh, came to me. Uh, not very very punchy, not very uh, wide, and um, as as you may want to make it sound a bit more, prof more professional, um, I directly went into using some simple but effective tricks. So, for example, here we've got all the drums, right? Kick. I have got two kicks happening: claps, hi hat, uh, and cymbals, and they're all routed to um, through the bosses, right? So it's bust B10, right, and uh, down here, I've got my drum channel. So let me play that for a second. Uh, let me actually forward. So if I bring down the volume on my drums channel, if I bring the volume on my drums channel, I'm able to have full control over the drums, right? Um, then I've bust this to another channel, which is right here that says drums compression. And uh, what that allows me to do is to only have drums on that channel. And let me actually bring that so you hear it. And with the Logic Compressor, compress the life out of it, right? Uh, not very high ratio, but certainly, you know, you can see the compression that's going on. And uh, really with compressors, it's all about listening. Uh, you, can, you can take as many screenshots or pictures of a compressor, uh, but in reality, it's, it's about listening and, and finding what you want to do or the sound you want to get. In this case, I want to have a bit, a bit more transients happening. And um, so, so that's what I have there. Obviously, these drums would not sound nice on their own. But if I combine them, if I combine them with, actually, let me go back. If I combine them with the drums that I already have, I can add some of that oomph to it without losing dynamic range. And that allows the track to still pump. Now, when you're doing this, you might actually choose to just send some elements to it. You might not send hi-hats. In this case, I did it with all of it. But if you only want to have that little extra kick pardon the pun, on the kick and the <laughs> snare, then that's all you're sending to parallel compression, for instance. And then you're not compressing your whole hit, your, your whole kit and still keeping that high end and transients of the hi-hats or the cymbals or whatever is there. You know, so that's, that's a nice, nice uh, thing to do. But in reality, what gives you the sense of space and pumping, right? Because it's one thing to have the transient hitting you, right? It's another thing to actually feel volume and, and depth. And here what I did was a really simple trick uh, with the uh, claps, where um, I've sent the claps to a, to a regular reverb uh, by bussing here, you can see over here, uh, bussing to number five, which is my just simple big room reverb that gives it the depth, right? And I've also routed that to um, bus number, I believe it's, uh, let me see, let me see real quick, um, to bus number four, which where I have prepared on an aux track, I've prepared a, a reverb, space designer, bright plate, uh, and then that reverb, has been compressed a bit and EQ'd. Um, and what that gives me is it allows me to, 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 to take some of that compressed reverb energy and give it an approximation to that 80 sound of the overcompressed gated type of reverb. It's not gated in this case, but you know, that kind of like energy, that, you know? And obviously, depending on where that's in the plane, it will make that bit, that beat that was originally just small and not very big, sound larger and punchier. So very simple stuff. 
And like they, like uh, like uh, we were saying at the beginning, it's not a matter of the tools. You can see all the tools that I'm using right now for this specific mix are right off the box in Logic. I'm not using fancy plugins to achieve the sound. Uh, it's it's really about listening and using some of these creative tools like parallel compression or putting the right amount of reverb or treating the reverb, which a lot of people don't really think about that, right? They'll just putting the reverb as it is, but you can always EQ it a bit or compress it a bit and achieve other effects with it. Can we maybe take it here in sure. the in the clap sound when, with and without the plugin so that we hear sure. the difference a little bit? No problem. So here it is. Let's actually turn off uh, claps. Let's turn off the sends and let me mute the parallel compression and we can hear those were the claps the way they sounded and now I'm slowly as we go actually go adding the effects oh wow the punch is really hitting you yeah exactly and then obviously if we like 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 always if you just listen to the clap as it is it's a bit resonant it doesn't sound great but it's always a matter of context you should never spend too much time on a single element uh, especially when we do electronic music or music in the box we tend to focus on the sound of that clap and and if i did that right now i'd probably go in there and eq it so it's not resonant but that doesn't really matter if i'm listening in context because that resonance that it has and that kind of maybe almost metallic sound that it has, it's exactly what I need. So get it to cut so, so it's 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 really about making it sound good in context rather than making the clap sound great on its own. So speaking of cutting through, so if the sound cut through to you, you will find the links below to check out this artist and the production of Gael. And um, if you liked it, take a look at what he does. Uh, Letting Grammy speaks for itself, I guess. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, check the comments below. Thanks very much. Bye.